Do you think Netflix would have been as successful as it is without the cloud? I don't believe so. At least we wouldn't be moving as quickly as we do. The cloud provides us a real strategic advantage in velocity in that now we don't have to manage all of these things in a traditional data center. It affords us velocity, it affords us focus, and it really allows Netflix to do what Netflix needs to do. What convinced you to partner up with AWS and why AWS and not another cloud provider? So we looked at AW to AWS to do what we called the undifferentiated heavy lifting. All of that work that needed to be done well, but not necessarily done by Netflix. And when we looked around at the time, we found Amazon really had all of the things that we wanted in features and in size and in support. And that's remained true over the years. They're really a great partner for us. How has your organizational culture influenced your partnership with AWS? Uh, Netflix believes very strongly in our culture, so much so that we published it openly a number of years ago in what was called the Netflix Culture Deck, and was recently even updated to our culture document to make it a little bit more understandable. Now, the way that influenced our relationship with Amazon, actually, early on, we realized we were having a few problems. Things weren't working like we wanted them to, and we realized we weren't applying our own culture that we were so proud of and we were so protective of. So we changed our behavior with Amazon to act like we do internally. We treated them like other Netflix employees. And with that improvement in our relationship, built a real partnership between the companies that's been fabulous going forward. Amazing. <laughs> how, has, how has your partnership with AWS evolved over the years? We've gone from more of a customer vendor relationship, really truly to a partnership. Our account team we invest in, we spend time with them, we train them, we treat them like Netflix employees. We keep them up to date. We, you know, we, we teach them some of our special words that we use. So when we use them, they know it's important to us and they do the same thing for us. And that's really built a closer relationship that allows us to move much more quickly. Can you share some of those special words? Certainly. Well, we have some certain internal technologies we talk about. That screen that people see when you, uh, when you use the Netflix service is the Lolomo. It's a list of list of movies. And there are systems that support that, that have that name as part of the system. So now if we express to our partners at Amazon that there's a Lolomo problem, they know what that means and what it affects versus we're having either an algorithmic problem or a data sciences problem. It helps them prioritize how they handle our requests and actually who from Amazon to get involved to help us solve our problem. Okay, thank you. What will be the next big thing in the cloud by Netflix? Oh, the next big thing in the cloud by Netflix. Well, uh, the biggest thing we're moving toward is our container management and orchestration infrastructure called Titus. We're enjoying some of the benefits that we get from containerization. It, it helps support an ever-changing and quickly moving system. So right now, Titus, that information management structure, runs about three million containers a week, and it's just starting to catch its stride. I think we'll see that. Uh, I think we'll see more and more of our production services moving from EC2-based instances into Titus-based containers, and enjoying all the flexibility that that provides. Thank you very much.